Hello friends, this video on chemical bonding part 18 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching the video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 17. So there are some merits of uh, Vesper theory. The first thing is you do not remember the shapes of all the molecules. You just find out, you know how to find the Lewis structure. And then if you have a little bit knowledge in the Vesper theory, you can find the shape of the structure. It's very simple to use and only the electronic configuration is required to draw the shape or you can see that if you know the Lewis structure you can find the Vesper theory a Vesper shape very easily because that also needs the electronic configuration to draw the shape but there are some demerits of Vesper theory also the first thing it fails for isoelectronic species because see the Vesper theory is based on the electronic configuration the valence electron see both these guys has 56 valence electron if they have same electrons the expected shape will be same pentagonal bipyramidal but by the diffraction data and the x-ray data they found that the f atoms are not coplanar also this theory fails for transition metal compounds So if you see for transition metal compounds, the Vesper theory predicts the shape of these to be uh, pentagonal bipyramidal. But actually using the diffraction techniques also you found that the shapes were octahedral. Because it is why because the seven electron, the seven, one of the seven electron pair is inactive. So we will not discuss more on this, maybe the higher classes will discuss more on these. One of the demerits of the Vesper theory was it is not based on quantum theory. And why I am telling this demerits is because the current accepted model for the atom is quantum theory based model. So it is good that we have some quantum theory based model for uh, giving the shape. Right? Also, it cannot predict the nature of molecules. For example, magnetic character and all, you can't predict. For example, O2 has is magnetic, paramagnetic. But this Vesper theory is not able to predict the magnetic character of the molecule. But the good part is it can easily relate the shape of most of the molecules and easy to use. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.